that's just all all pixie dust uh you know that again uh we've been very fortunate uh to have the right network executives at the right place at the right time i mean everybody knows the story that nbc wanted to nbc was presenting their season the prior season and and uh they had uh i don't remember the lady's name but two ladies who were in other shows of theirs. I know it was Selma Diamond from Night Court. And they came out, produce, came out presenting Miami Nice. And uh, so, uh, and they did this shtick, this run about, no, it's not, and that's Miami Nice, it's about, the, anyway, from that moment, Brandon Tartikoff looked at Warren Littlefield and said, there's a series in women like this. And uh, Paul and I, had uh, been working with another writer on another idea about two sisters. Uh, and uh, we went in to pitch it, and they were not crazy about the notion. It's okay. And they said in the room, how do you feel about writing about older women? Uh, we want to do something about a couple of older women living together. And the writer said, I, I don't do older women. People. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know how to write that, which was fair, and he probably wouldn't have. And uh, we stuck around afterwards and said, we do, and we know just the writer, Susan. I mean, we, you know, there's that, we, it's just clear that older people have more interesting stories, they've lived longer, it's just a more interesting time, and they have a lot more to reflect on, and, and the passages, and the end of, end of your life facing you, et cetera, et cetera. There's a whole, whole lot of things that, to deal with. Uh, and reflections and so on. So it was very rich and always very interesting to do that. And so we said, we'll do it, and we know Susan would love to do it. And so Paul, Susan, and I sat down, and it became three people, three people living together, not two, because we wanted the diversity of different characters. And then we, of course, you know, then we said, let's, now let's go really old and give them a mother, give one of them a mother. And, and, and uh, you know, she was theoretically had stroked a couple of times in her life, so she did, her sensor was not always working, so she could say anything she wanted, which is how we played Estelle. In the beginning and later, there was no stroke issue, but that was kind of what we had said, so that she could just be a loose cannon. And uh, it was about, it was the, 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 rea the, the ability of three women not to have life be over at their age. That was the core of the story, and the life isn't over and that you can, you can recreate another family and do something else and, and still have friends and support. And that's what we went after, and that was at the core of it. And uh, uh, of course, they behaved like teenagers <laughs> and spoke like teenagers half the time, but uh, uh, I, think it, I think it was a good point of view for America uh, uh, to understand that, you know, when you get a certain age, it's not over, and you still have feelings and thoughts that are very much like an 18-year-old. And uh, live life to the fullest, and you can have a support system. It's a wonderful fantasy, or it's, it's a wonderful notion to think that if I if I get in that situation, which my love, my spouse is gone, that I could find a, some people like that and be together and roommates and share their lives, and they could support me. And that's that was I think that was the the strength of the show, and then it was just kick-ass funny. Just the funniest show ever, in my opinion. Those ladies were just brilliant. Not the funniest show ever, I think that might be a little much to say. But it was a very funny show. I, I remember about the fourth episode in, turning to Paul at a run-through and saying, you know, this is kind of like Lucy. This will never get old. These women are just, first of all, they're so, the writing was superb. They're so touching and, and compelling and you just want to, embrace them all, and they are making you belly laugh. They are killing you with the humor. And the humor was so universal, just because we've done other shows, even Soap, you know, you, did, you were doing it and you, you didn't think this was gonna run, this is gonna, this will hold up forever. But that show in the fourth episode, I said to my partner, this is kind of Lucy-esque here. I mean, I don't ever see this show getting old. This will always be funny. I know when I see this again 10 years from now, I will laugh just as loudly. And uh, it's proven to be a fact. I mean, I could have been very wrong. I have been, <laughs> I've made statements before that haven't panned out, but uh, it, it was clear that this show is, 
had legs to hold up and that humor would be universal.